motorcycle people and crazy people out there. We're out for another ride today. Got my beautiful wife behind me. We're off to uh, Matlock Bath. Meet up with a couple of guys uh, I used to play Xbox with a few years ago. They invited us out today just for a quick hello. Find some beautiful roads, a nice ride. I think this will be the last day uh, we come out with the summer pod. I think he'll be happier in his dome. It's quite a bit of a chill in the air. And i got to say, I couldn't do a winter without heated gear now. This will be my ninth year winter riding. Um, and my ninth year of heated gear. Or should I say, this will be my ninth year of riding with heated gear. The first year, I was a bit of uh, Scrooge and I, I bought the uh, Oxford heated vest and gloves, which were great. They, were, they weren't bad until after the 12 months they stopped working. Because uh, you don't get a warranty. Um, 12 months with Oxford so that was that they were broke they were broke so I uh, switched to Gerbins and uh, I've got everything heated jacket heated gloves heated trousers heated socks and believe me on the coldest of coldest days spend eight plus hours in the saddle with heated gear is just a pleasure it's beautiful it's it doesn't you know trouble with being cold is your concentration goes fatigue kicks in and uh, you, you're just not happy when you're cold so uh, heated gear is definitely the way to go for winter riding that's for sure. There's quite a few companies out there now that do it, but I can guarantee you won't get the quality or the service, the customer service, as you do with Gerbins. I've bought one pair of socks and I've had four pairs because uh, with, with electrical um, systems and, and heated gear, with the amount I wear it through the winter, there's always a wire or something that's going to break and something goes wrong. It's not a problem. You just put it in a packet, send it back to Gerbins. And if they can't repair it, they replace it. And I've found with my socks, every year they've just replaced them. Um, and it's usually my socks that go, because obviously you're walking around on the wires all the time. Uh, but it's not a problem. You know, that uh, initial expense doesn't really matter because if they break you send them back and like I say the customer service is just it's just exceptional um, I've gotten I haven't got a bad word to say um, about how I've uh, been treated with Gerbins hence I've been a customer for eight years now but I do need to replace um, all my heated gear, unfortunately. Um, they cut all mine off me on my last accident and I just haven't got around to replacing it yet. But oh, I can feel the chill coming. I definitely will. So my other tips for winter kit would be a decent Gore-Tex suit because the other thing is you can't beat staying dry only worse than being wet once you get wet you get cold and I've learned over the years that yeah there's there's is a good price kit out there that will you know if you commute to work um, it will get you there get you back but if you're serious about riding for long hours wet days, cold days, through the winter, then really do invest in decent Gore-Tex 
Um, I just found over the years that I'd wasted my money on the other stuff and it wore out really quick and it was waterproof for like a month and then uh, about 2015 I bought a rucker suit for the motorbike show so yeah, I went to the uh, NEC motorbike show and uh, got myself a bargain of a rucker suit for 600 quid with a 6 year warranty on it and I gotta say I've still got that suit it doesn't leak, it's never leaked, I've never had to send it back um, I use it more as a winter suit um, now it's uh, it's the double layered Gore-Tex system so it's like it's corduroy on the top and Gore-Tex underneath <laughs> the only downside with that is when it gets wet it does get very heavy um, but it's a very warm suit and then uh, a couple of years ago I invested in the Triumph Gore-Tex suit which I've got to say is an amazing suit as well for the money and that's a laminated a laminated being it's just a one layer Gore-Tex so the top layer is laminated and the rain just runs straight off but uh, the downside with that is it's uh, it's not the warmest of suits in the winter because of uh, the layering but with the heated gear it uh, it compensates for it and obviously it's a lot lighter and uh, there's no real drying time with it you know you can be in the biggest downpour and uh, it will just roll off oh, and then 20 minutes of being home hanging jacket up it's dry which is a bonus in itself but as ever, you know, you have to shop for your kit with the budget that you've got. So just try and buy the best for your money. And I always found, and I always still do, apart from this year, because obviously with Corona, that's, that's just not, uh, not going to happen. But uh, if you can, you always do your kit investment um, at the NEC, at the end of the year because I guarantee you will always get a bargain that's for sure same with your gloves always buy decent waterproof gloves and always carry more than one pair um, another tip nothing worse than trying to put um, even when they're just wet on the outside but trying to put gloves back on uh, on a rainy day uh, with wet hands so I always find that uh, I always have a pair of um, just like thin silky liners I normally buy them from Decathlon uh, for about four quid and uh, you'll find even with the wettest of gloves your outer glove will just slip straight on and they also give you that that extra layer to keep your hands warm and the same with your boots always invest in a decent pair of waterproof boots because like I say once you're wet you get cold and once you're cold the concentration goes you're not happy you just don't want to be on the bike and it's just not an enjoyable experience if you can have the best kit you can afford and you can stay dry all day and warm you will have some amazing winter rides you really will We're nearly there now. Got to say, some cracking roads out this way. Amazing what you can find on your doorstep. Sun shining still. A bit of a nip in the air. It's nearly 11 o'clock now. It's, uh, get there, we can have a cup of tea. Hey buddy, nice oh, cup of tea. There she is, look. Picture of beauty.
Där var jag! Ja, vad känns det då? Åh, fast men! Oh my god! Åh, vad är det? 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 So she does it just to wind you up. Yeah, I'm telling you. I oh know, I oh know. She's naughty, I oh know. She did it on purpose. Yeah. You tell her. <laughs> you can see he hates it when she goes in front. He ain't happy. I oh know, I'll overtake her, right? Okay, what I can. Gotta be patient though. You tell her. Another good tip for uh, winter riding is uh, a tennis ball. Yeah, now you think I have lost the plot, don't you? Well, if you cut the top of a tennis ball, drill a hole in it attach it to said handlebars and then place a nice chunk of sponge in the tennis ball as long as you keep that tennis ball filled with water and your sponge wet you'll uh, guarantee to get another 2,000 plus miles out your visor through the winter you know and then very shitty days when the the water that comes off the road is just dirt it dries to your visor that's where the tennis ball comes in. Well, we're nearly home now. Had a cracking day. It uh, certainly warmed up a bit. I got me my, uh, my summer gloves back on. Which uh, always makes it easy for turning the camera on and off. I forgot how cumbersome the uh, winter gloves are. Because we're getting to that time of year where they've got to go back on. I'm going to miss my summer gloves. Quite a lot riding in the summer gloves. So yeah, we've been to Matlock Bath. Did all the uh, twisty twisty roads there and back. It's been quite nice. It's been a good day to test out the uh, my new E-Turtle heli light vest. What a piece of kit this is. Uh, I thought the uh, tethered version was good. But uh, the E-Turtle to me is the next uh, the next step up in technology, it really is. Mind you, I've got to get out of my head that uh, I've got no tether anymore because I keep thinking I forgot to plug it in. At one point I pulled over because I was convinced myself I, I needed to plug it in. And uh, then realised that I haven't got a tether on here due to the fact that it's an E-Turtle. But very easy to use, very easy to charge. It was easy to pair up to the fork sensors. And uh, it soon uh, moulded to my shape. Here, the bath protector is really comfortable. And I gotta say, it's just nice to be back in an air vest. I my road, uh, I wasn't wearing one because I'd uh, sent it back to Pete. He was sending me this one. And uh, I've got to say, it just felt wrong not to have it on. I suppose you get so used to wearing one. 
you haven't got one on it, so it just didn't feel right. But we're all good. The E turtle, 10 out of 10. A big thank you to you all. And if you like the uh, ramblings of a crazy old man and his dog, hey buds, then uh, please subscribe, like and share. Hit that button, show us some love. Stay safe out there, you crazy people. Till the next time.